There's one thing that people tend to forget when they first start getting into business selling decorated cookies. I know I did, especially since on social media, you don't really see the packaging process. You see what the cookies are, how they're iced, how they're made, but you don't really see the final product and how it's delivered to your customer. So I wanted to make a video showing you exactly what I use and how I package my cookies. There's a couple reasons why packaging is super important. The first is the most obvious reason. Packaging makes things look much better. You can have some beautiful cookies, but if you package them really nicely, they look 10 times better. Your customers will really think it's something special. And the second reason the packaging is super important is you want your cookies to be in one piece when they get delivered to the customer. Whether they're picking it up or you're delivering it, you wanna make sure that you know there's no cookies flying out of boxes or bags or breaking on the way. So let me show you what I use. I'll be linking all the products I use below the video in the description. Make sure you do your own research and you compare prices and shipping prices because what works for me may not necessarily work for you. So the first thing you want to decide whether you're going to heat seal your cookies or not heat seal your cookies. I know some people that do it for every single cookie. I know some people like myself that it depends on the order whether the people are giving them out individually or let's say if they're putting in like a goodie bag or something then I'd make sure to heat seal them and if they're just serving it on a platter or something or you know it's just a part of the dessert table I won't waste my bags on um, on the cookies if they're just gonna cut them open and serve them on a platter so why that is important is because when you have your box here and you're gonna put your shred inside shred is not actually food safe and so if your cookies are not heat sealed, you wanna make sure that you're covering your shred with something. So the easiest thing that I find to cover my shred with is actually just taking one of my bags, my, you know, that I heat seal my cookies in, and I'll cut it along the seams, and I'll just cover my shred with a couple of bags so that there's a layer between my cookies that are not heat sealed or not bagged and my shred. If you don't have shred on hand, um, you can also get uh, these sort of parchment papers. They're like bakery. Um, you know, when you go to grab something from the bakery, it's kind of like a protective little parchment thing you can use. I've also used those on the bottom of the boxes, especially if you're doing like macarons or something like that, that you can sort of stack and you don't want them on shred. That works really great as well. It also protects the box. So that's a great option as well. Boxes are really important too. You want a nice sturdy box because you don't want to have to pick up your box and have the, the bottom of the box sinking through because your cookies are really heavy and you know cause the box to fold or to bend. So it's good to get a nice sturdy box. So another thing I like to do is tie my boxes in some baker's twine. The reason I do this, it kind of has that classic bakery look, but not only that, I can easily pick up the box by the twine, by the knot, and hold the box and put it in my bag. So I really like that it puts a little nice bow on it, and it also keeps the box closed so it won't be opening, because sometimes these boxes, if you handle them with one hand or the cookie slide around, it might make it heavier on one side, and the little lip that you know folds into the box to keep it shut, it might pop open. So this is a great way to keep your boxes closed while looking really good. Another thing I suggest you do is to get customized stickers made of your logo or your cookie business name and so then you're self-promoting and it also looks very professional. And so they've lasted me a long time and I usually like to include one on each box that I give to the customer. And so I found these really large bags. They're quite tall so they can fit about three of these boxes. It could fit more but I don't feel comfortable putting too much weight in them. But three is the max that I go to and they fit the boxes perfectly so that they can sit flat so my customers when they come to pick up they can just grab them and you know have their hands free, have a couple bags in one hand and take them to the car. And another little thing I like to do is just add one of my tags to the bag. So again I'll take my baker's twine because I have lots of it and it's relatively cheap and I will tie my tag to the bag. 
And a little tip here is that if you buy tags off of, let's say, Vistaprint, where I got my stickers from, they're a little bit more expensive. So uh, one of my friends who's a graphic designer told me that if you order vertical business cards from them and cut them yourself, it's a lot cheaper. So that's what I did. I customized my logo on the front and on the back I had my contact information and my Instagram and my social media handles and I tie one to each bag. It's a little bit more work because you have to cut them down but I do them, you know, I'll cut a bunch down and hole punch them and have them ready to go so that when I go to bag and box my cookies everything's ready and done. But it really does save you a lot of money. Remember to check out the links below the video to see the products that I've used. And remember, packaging can look really good, but it doesn't have to be expensive. Hopes this helped you guys take your business to the next level. Happy baking! Thanks for watching!